I'm Bruce Jane, and today I'm going to take a look at some slow moving weights. Now these are going to appear on a piece of moving string or rope, but let's start off by taking a look at some waves traveling through stationary rope. To make waves and rope, it's as simple as flicking it up and down or side to side. We could also use a slinky. Oh. Wow, it works good now what we're looking at is a transverse wave. The material is going to stay stationary. The particles of the material move up and down as the wave moves forward through it. That is a transverse wave. So, ready? Yeah. Oh, Got it. No. Again. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Ready? Yeah. Really fast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now what we want to do is put this rope in motion. The rope is going to go in this direction. We're going to move the particles of the rope to form a wave moving this way, but it's going to go against the movement of that rope. So that's going to cause this wave to slow down. Now we're going to look at it on a vertical rather than a horizontal. Let's start by taking a look at the device. It's simply a spool that's mounted on a toy car wheel. Here we can see the wheel a little bit closer. This is going to mount on the motor, which is mounted inside the wooden support. It has wires that run down to the base. Here's the on-off switch. And if I turn it over, there we can see the batteries. Now here's my continuous loop of ribbon. When I put it on this wheel, I can move it back and forth, and it hangs very limp, there's not much to it. But when I turn this on, this wheel's going to turn in this direction fairly quickly, so this whole ribbon is turning in this direction. It's coming up on this side, so if I pull this out and put a weight into it, you see it propagate down this side very slowly. This is the side where the ribbon's moving down. So if I try and put a wave on this side, well, I can't do it. Uh, it almost acts like it's a rigid body. It behaves much differently. Now, when I try and put a wave in the rope when it's moving in this direction, as I lift it up, the particles are continue to move down in this direction, so as I lift, I'm not just lifting here, I'm lifting this whole section. So it appears that the rope is solid. Now here's another version of the same piece. We can use the same rope or ribbon. The wheel is mounted on the same type of motor. It uses four AA batteries with an on-off switch. But the nice thing about this piece is it's handheld. So let's go give it a try. Before I turn this thing on, I can move that rope and it's very limp. Uh, there's not much structure to it. It just swings haphazardly. But once I put it in motion, now it's moving in this direction. This is a side that's coming up. So this is a side that will see the waves uh, slowly propagate down the rope. And I can simply move this back and forth and put them in just by shaking it. So there's our portable version of it. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to try one a little bit longer, so the next one has a rope that's 28 feet long. I'm going to use these two shock cords to attach this motor body to an upstairs railing. It's more powerful, I have to plug it in. I have two wheels for it. This one's made out of wood and cardboard. I have a larger one that I made out of styrofoam. 
The loop is made out of 28 feet of rope and I'm going to need an extension cord. So let's go try it. Thank you. 